what did you learn from week one, just being out there with an offensive line that had to shift around a lot of guys? Um, you know, I just learned that the game just moves a lot quicker and we as a unit just have to be fundamentally sound and we can't, we got to be focused on the details and we just got to, I mean, it's what it is. COVID is what it is. And we just have to deal with what we have and just go out there and compete. How did you think you handled, handled the moment uh, as an individual offensive lineman? Um, I was, I was nervous at first. Obviously it was my first start. Um, obviously, looking back at the film, I think I can, uh, definitely have stuff to improve on and uh, improve to week two. What would you say is just the biggest challenge you guys face um, going on the road the first time and playing a really good Oklahoma team? Um, I just think one thing is obviously we as a unit I don't have a lot of experience, but I don't think that's uh, – obviously it's on us to uh, – uh, improve and I just think if we can come out and do our assignment be fundamentally sound we have a chance this week let's go next to Scott Fritchen yeah hey Cooper um, where do you feel like after this first game that the offensive line needs to take that next step what area must the offensive line improve on the most you believe um, I just think it's just assignments and doing the little things right. Like, I know for me personally, like, my second step and hand placement was a big thing that I took away from uh, watching the film. I think it's just the little details and knowing your assignments is what I feel like we can take away the most. And exactly how far off do you feel like the offense is to reaching its potential after one game? Um, I think I don't think we're that far off at all. I've seen a huge improvement uh, at this week of practice, and I feel like we're in a good place. Um, obviously, it hurt week one to take that loss, but I feel like we're taking the necessary steps we need to be 